Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And of course, uh, we talked about how unfair in some way it is that the uh, European economic area will get changes to Windows that a lot of people would love to have everywhere else, including the ability to, for example, remove or uninstall Microsoft Edge easily. Well, it's interesting because um, a, a user in Europe called desk modder he's uh, on x or uh, the uh, which was twitter and he often finds interesting things about the windows operating system now there's um, a website that i had seen they were using like a complex way of you know enabling these features to uninstall whatever you want to uninstall in windows uh, 10 and 11 because both systems will be affected both windows 10 and windows 11 will have the ability to uninstall these apps um it turns out that there's no registry hack to do. There's no real fancy thing to do. All of the information about these files and how they can be uninstalled is in a actually a file in the Windows System 32 folder. And there, it's you can open it with a plain text editor and change it to enable, for example, the Microsoft Edge uninstall feature. Now, I'm not going to go into. I'm going to show you the uh, the file, but I'm not going to go into the modification yet. We're going to wait until the um, this is official and that all of the um, updates are pushed to Windows 10 and Windows 11 versions. When that is actually happening, what's going to happen is I'll actually post a series of videos of how to enable such and such features such as you know microsoft edge uninstall and so on but for this to be working you will need to have the latest uh, updates that are actually pushing that modification uh, in the european economic area this is going to be turned on officially and available to everybody on march the 6th 2024 so if you go to your file explorer and go into this PC, and by the way, my file explorer on this insider machine is extremely slow for the past uh, few weeks. Uh, go to your C drive, then you go to your Windows folder. In the Windows folder, you will see that there is a System32 um, folder. And here, you've got to find a file that actually will tell you um, and let me just find the proper file I believe it's here somewhere close um, I and here we go integrated services region policy set this is the file that you want to find and if you right click on it and open it with the notepad for example you see that there's all of these text and you see that there's all of these different abbreviations notice here these are abbreviations of probably countries that these are enabled or not too. And you can see, for example, comment, edge is uninstallable. And then this says default state disabled. That means it cannot be uninstalled right now. So there's all of these things you can actually modify, save the file again, and then restart. And you have all of these features that are enabled. Of course, the best way to change this will be to copy the original to a safe place so that if you mess up or do something that makes Windows behave bad, you have the original file that you can put, put back in place. But uh, everything's in here. This is the single file that enables, disables all sorts of things. To, uh, you know, First party file explorer search is allowed. File explorer search and third party extensible. Narrator scripting extension enabled. So there's all sorts of things that are you know, you can change, which is pretty, uh, pretty interesting that it's just a file that basically will direct all of this. For example, here, Windows Copilot, default state enabled. 
can change all of that. And uh, this is this is very very interesting. So only a file with text in it is what actually controls the state of all the different apps and features that Windows 10 and 11 have that can be modified, uninstalled, or changed. So more to come on this. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.